Elon Musk is taking the technology world by storm. Few hours ago, he took to his Twitter page now known as X, and this is what he said. The first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Now what do all of this mean? Let's take a deep dive and explore it together. Welcome to Science Tech Exploration. Let's get smarter together by exploring the intricate world of technology and the latest innovations all around the world. If you haven't followed, hit that subscribe button now. Now, if you haven't followed this topic making the rounds, let me break it down so you understand what all this means. Elon Musk has just put a computer chip in, a human brain. So this is another view real quick. Uh, on the left is the uh, view of the insertion area, and on the right, uh, what the robot's going to do is it's going to peel the array, uh, the threads, one by one from its silicon backing and insert it into the targets that we uh, predetermined in the targeting view. So. There you go. That's the first insertion. His startup, Neuralink was founded in 2016 by Elon Musk and a founding team of seven renowned scientists and engineers. The group of initial hires consisted of experts in areas such as neuroscience, biochemistry, and robotics. The trademark Neuralink was purchased from its previous owners in January 2017. Eight years later, they have their first human test subject. This is a big milestone. It will allow us to finally cut through the noise and see proof of concept, which is a brain-computer interface or BCI. The technology will allow people to control machines with their thoughts. Yes, this is not a sci-fi movie or a futuristic theory. Now, let's take a look at his follow-up post. He says the first product is called a telepathy. It will allow you to control your phone or computer just by thinking, and through them, you can control other devices. If this works, I mean, if it works, guys, it could be a game changer, especially for people with some form of terminal disabilities or paralysis. They could benefit greatly from a technology like this. Of course, people with disability are on Musk priority risks of first recipients. Here's what he wrote. Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or an interpreter. That is the goal. It's an ambitious dream. But how do you plug a machine into the human brain? I mean, how do all of these work? Well, let me tell you what we know so far. A computer chip and other electronics will be inserted into the brain. This is the link in Neuralink. It's reportedly about the size of a few coins. The chip will be battery operated. Wait, how do you charge it when it's down? It's said that the chip while inside the brain can be charged wirelessly from an external device, so no need to worry about replacing it, which would be hard anyway because it will be inserted directly into the brain. So replacement would be a problem. Another interesting thing is that Musk plans to automate the whole process to reduce the encumbrances of human error. So the placement of the chip will happen by a special surgical robot. They will put this chip into your brain. Yes, a robot, not a trained neurosurgeon. This is because one part of the link has wires directly hooked up to your brain. It is so intricate it cannot be done by humans, so you need a robot to do it. These wires, tiny as stitching threads, monitor your brain activity. They will read your thoughts and pass them on to the chip. The chip will then send a signal to an app on your phone or computer. That is how the setup works. It may sound complicated, but it's not exactly revolutionary because this is not all new. Yes, the first device and concepts like this came out as far back as 2004. There are other companies that have been doing this, working on the brain-computer interface for years to get your brain to talk directly to a computer and get machines moving. Older devices let people control a robotic limb with their mind, so it has been done before. But hold on, what makes Neuralink special? It is the sheer volume of brain signals that it wants to capture and collect. Yes, that is what's special about Elon Musk's Neuralink. The other brain chips that exist are slower. They may not allow for what Elon Musk wants to do because helping people without limbs is just the beginning. He eventually wants an advanced brain-computer interface. 
Imagine driving a smart car with just your thoughts or playing video games with your mind or accessing all the information on the internet through your brain. The possibilities are endless. There's a reason Musk is calling this first product telepathy. It sets the tone for what is to come. Eventually, we could reach new heights of human capabilities. Humans augmented with machine parts that are mind-controlled, like a cyborg in a sci-fi movie. But of course, there are drawbacks and threats too, like almost every new technology. This too will be open to abuse. Imagine someone hacking your brain chip, reading your thoughts, controlling your robotic limbs. It's a terrifying prospect and someone will likely manage to do it. Am sure. So, we need to be cautious and guard against the potential risks while exploring the potential benefits. Such brain chips may help millions of people, and Elon Musk's company has taken a crucial step towards this. Now, we wait and watch. We see how the human test subject reacts to the Neuralink chip. The next few weeks will tell us how far along the technology is and how long until you get such a chip in stores near you. In conclusion, Elon Musk's groundbreaking venture into neural technology with Neuralink marks a significant leap towards unlocking the vast potential of human-machine integration. As we eagerly anticipate the outcomes of the initial human trials and the capabilities telepathy might offer, it's crucial to tread carefully into this uncharted territory. While the promises of enhanced communication and control are captivating, the ethical considerations and potential risks cannot be overlooked. The coming weeks will shed light on the progress of this transformative technology, leaving us on the edge of our seats, contemplating the fascinating possibilities and potential challenges that lie ahead in the realm of mind-controlled innovations. Stay tuned for the next chapter in the evolution of our interconnected future. If you watch this video to the end, it means you are a tech enthusiast like me. Comment 100 below in the comment section. See you on the next episode in three days.